Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today's video is on the stroke shot. And there is nothing more cool in pool than a stroke shot. Now before we shoot that shot, there's some things we need to know about the cue ball and the cushion. So without further ado, before I show you some really neat shots, let's check out what we need to know. Before taking a look at a stroke shot or a power shot, let's first of all see how the cue ball reacts as it contacts the cushion when I shoot with maximum left spin in this case. This puts clockwise spin on the cue ball and then it jets off to my left. And this is kind of like a car tire that's on ice, spinning on ice, and then it grips the dry pavement and takes off. Same situation. Now I'm going to hit right spin, and this is going to put a counterclockwise rotation on the cue ball, and the cue ball will jet off to the right, my right. So knowing this, we can use this to our advantage when we execute a power shot or a stroke shot, because we know that the cue ball will jet off the rails and easily propel itself around the table. Here I'm performing two shots. These are running spin shots, cue ball only. And I'm showing you as an example how it jets around the table. Here's another shot. And this is outside top right. So this is running spin. Now here is inside spin. This is not running spin. After it contacts the first rail, however, the second rail, we do see running spin. Let's take a closer look here. Slow motion, first rail, not running spin, but watch as it contacts the second rail and it will jet off. Now this is an advantage to us and we can use this during a power shot or a stroke shot to get around the table. Okay, this first shot is an inside running left where I'll go one, two, three, and then I'll even bump the rail a fourth time here to get easily on this nine. Now we've got another inside running left spin shot and we're gonna go five rails, one, two, three, four, and five. By spinning the cue ball, we easily can contact all those rails to get nice position on that nine. And this is a, a real good shot here. It's a power draw shot by using low right, we can also spin and change the direction on the rebound once the cue ball comes back to the rail. I'll look at that shot more in detail in a minute. Okay, this one is also a power draw where we put spin on the cue ball and change its direction once it contacts the rail to come back under that nine. Okay, here we have just a simple draw shot with a low right. We're going to just go two rails to come back to that one side of the nine. But now this one is a little bit more of a stroke. So this is more of a power stroke, not much of a power stroke, kind of in between. But we're going to go two rails once again, but we're going to go to the opposite side of the nine. Okay, now let's go back to that shot where I showed you that we were power drawing that cue ball in in making it change its direction as it comes off the rail. We draw it back into the rail, but because of the right spin that we're putting on the cue ball, this is putting the right rotation on so that we can jet down table to easily get on that nine ball. It kind of defies the law, laws of physics in a way here. Nice shot, cool shot, really no, fun to watch for sure. And uh, here we're going to look at it a little bit closer in slow-mo. See how the cue ball is rotating back. You would think it just come back in its natural V off the rail, but because we're putting that spin on, we change its direction to shoot it more down table to get on that nine. Great shot to know. And I'll shoot it one more time here in real speed so you guys can check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Hey, if you're not a subscriber to the Pool Student channel, please subscribe. Your support really helps. I'm trying to build a, a great base of pool players here that we can all share ideas with. So thanks again for watching. Like I always say, keep on practicing.